how do you separate the fact that you would like to, a promotion, but in order to get that, you don't have autonomy of having a child? It's just a very, very mixed message as a woman because you want to be about your career, you want to yes. be out there, you want to be doing as well and have the same freedom and allowances. Even in the film, that when Chiwetel gets to go to work with the pod, he's allowed to walk around, yeah. be free with it, be open with it, everyone mm. celebrates it, and you have to put it in a cupboard. In a cupboard. And that really says it all yeah. about that balance. I think, Rosalie, it's either your character or Amelia, your coworker, who sort of asserts that in this world, um, society couldn't have progressed forward without women's body autonomy over reproductive rights. How are you feeling about the state of body autonomy in women in America and around the world? Well, I don't think it's just baby related, is it? It's, no. it's I, I'm not sure that women have really had autonomy Ever. over their bodies <clears throat> for a very, very long time. The question mark it's presenting is how far does that go? And, do we reach a point where women are no longer needed or they don't belong to themselves anymore, that it's take, that choice is taken away from them through convenience? Mm -hmm. You know, and there's pros and fours against the argument of having a pod, surrogate, whatever, you know? The fact that there's so much politics around being a mother, not being a mother, choosing to have a child, not choosing to have a child, if you do have a child, how are you raising that child, what do you do with that child? My God! And you know what I mean? More. Are you I having more? more? Why aren't you having yeah. any more? Why, if you had the yeah. child and then you've gone back to work, what's wrong with you? Why are you yes. being a bad mother? This person's a good mother, but no, actually, she's also a bad mother. How dare people have the audacity to have that kind of an opinion on someone's life when you have... No one has any access to how anyone feels about... I don't have any access to how anyone feels about me. Likewise to every other individual on planet Earth. And so to try and put arguments on a person when you don't know them and you don't know situations and everything is so profoundly circumstantial and everything comes down to the individual person or the individual person's choices, life's upbringing, and then the same for that child, the same for that family setup, whatever that looks like. There are bigger problems to be dealing with than this, surely. No, I think it's the big question of, uh, you know, the instrum instrumentalization of women's body and uh, uh, how do we win as feminists without falling into the radical feminism that just antagonizes men and women? Because mm -hmm. I still think there is an enlightened feminism where we both need each other and uh, it doesn't have to be that antagonistic and that... Uh, it does, we don't have to be at war uh, with each other's <laughs> gender. But, but it's true that I feel corporations in America have kind of used a little bit the fact that there's no more public health protecting women's reproductive choices, and they've stepped in, which sometimes it's for great reasons, but it's also, that's not the role of a company to give uh, a female employee $10,000 to freeze their eggs or to pay for an out-of-state trip for an abortion. It's great that they're stepping in and doing it, but this is a public health issue. The government should be doing it. And there's no way why an employee should tell what their decisions are mm -hmm. uh, in terms of their body and the reproduction choices they want to make. So the film is a satire about all this and is trying to keep a sense of humor about it. Uh, any of you, do you think it's empowering the idea that you might be able to gestate outside your body so you can continue with your career goals, or is there something a little bit more? I think that I, th I think it comes down to the fundamental reason of why someone is choosing to do that and why someone is choosing to make that choice easier for someone. And I think the lack of the complete and utter lack of transparency and the uh, amount of passive aggression that is happening through this kind of um, manipulation that goes on in that conversation, which just speaks to the lack of transparency, which speaks to the lack of like human to human having a conversation saying, hey, listen, we could do with you not taking that time off, here's why. We need to keep earning this money, you're a brilliant hard worker. Having like an actual conversation is one thing, but that is not what is happening here. It's taking someone's, something that is emotionally fraught for many, many, many people and brings up a lot of things for those individuals and manipulating that, that is where the problem is. Amelia, between like uh, dragons and pods, do you ever think you'd be working so much with eggs? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>